Welcome back. After nine years at Real Madrid, Cristiano Ronaldo is heading to the Serie A and the old lady finally has her man. The two clubs reached an agreement on Tuesday that will see the Portuguese star sign a four-year deal with Juventus worth $131 million. Well, I'm pleased to say James Horncastle rejoins me now to discuss this. And James, it's been called the, the biggest deal of the century in Italy with good reason. But why is this move happening now? Well, I think... Uh... Ronaldo and Real Madrid felt it was time to go their separate ways, uh, move on. I think there's maybe a clash of egos between Ronaldo and the president of Real Madrid, Florentino yeah. Perez. I think for Juventus, they look at Ronaldo as a walking economic stimulus package. Um, they're the 10th richest work team in the world at the moment. They've been overachieving, really, to get to the Champions League final twice in the last four years because so many more teams are richer than them. But they believe that he will be able to bring in sponsorship, yeah. commercial partnerships, which will fast-track them um, forward and be maybe not as wealthy as Real Madrid and Manchester United, but closer to them. And for Ronaldo as, himself as well, he said that this is, it's time for a new stage, it's time mm. for a new chapter. What will it signal with his career? I think it's huge for Where his... Where else can he go? Well, I think it's huge for his legacy um, because I think he still has the hunger um, to win more Ballon d'Ors, win more Champions Leagues. Mm. Juventus haven't won the Champions League in 23 years. I think Ronaldo really likes the idea of joining Clarence Seydorf as the only player to have won it with three different clubs to matching Paco Gento's record of winning it six times. Yeah, so Ronaldo, of course, becomes one of the four most expensive players of all time. Uh, we've spoken about what it means to, uh, to Juve. Uh, let's just take a look here at the graphic of those <laughs> ten most expensive football transfers. Um, how important was it for Juve in particular to seal this player? I think it's really important. I think it marks a, a change in their kind of club policy, if you like. They've been very prudent over the last seven or eight years. Um, I think they've distinguished themselves by signing players on free transfers. You think of Paul Pogba. They got him for nothing. They sold him for 105 million. So this is very different because Ronaldo, they'll be paying him around 30 million euros a year after tax. That's four times more than their current highest earner. So they're ripping up the wage structure with the intention of winning the Champions League and yeah. growing Juventus as a club and a business. How does this Ronaldo signing compare to other big name moves we've seen uh, in, in Serie A previously? Oh, it's huge. I mean, as you mentioned, they're calling this the, uh, the, the deal of the century. Um, but it's the first time that um, an Italian club has signed a Ballon d'Or holder winner yeah. since Ronaldo there back right. in 1997. Yeah, because those two there are, of course, Maradona, uh, to Napoli and uh, Brazilian Ronaldo, of course, to Inter Milan. Um, it, it, he is the third biggest player, really, isn't he, to arrive in the Italian scene. Um, it signals, as you mentioned before, a new chapter not just for Ronaldo and for Juventus, but for Real Madrid as mm. well. Where do they go now that Ronaldo is off their books? Well, I, I think we're all hanging on, on what they're going to do next because um, I doubt Real Madrid would have allowed Cristiano Ronaldo to go without having a very good idea of who's coming in to mm. replace him. And, yeah, there's been a, a year of speculation surrounding Neymar, who went from pa uh, Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain last year. I think that's one of the reasons why Ronaldo left. He yeah. didn't like the idea of Real Madrid flirting with somebody else, be it Neymar, be it Kylian Mbappe, to be the future of Real Madrid. But I think maybe Zinedine Zidane had an inkling that yeah. Ronaldo was going to leave, and that's maybe why he walked away. <laughs> Interesting. And, of course, everyone wants a piece of Kylian Mbappe, don't they, right now, mm. especially after this World Cup. James, thank you so much uh, yes. for joining us. I know you'll be back again after the break uh, with Le Bleu having sealed the first coveted spot in the World Cup final. And England and Croatia preparing to do battle. Up next, we're asking the question, who will France prefer to face in the final?